It's over 40 years since Taylor May gave us the first metal driver back in 1979. 25 years later, they introduced movable weight technology in the TaylorMade R7, and in 2022, we saw the dawn of the so-called carbon wood era with TaylorMade Stealth. And at each stage of these monumental changes in product technology, one thing did not change, and that was public opinion. And that opinion was often showered with doubt, skepticism, and in some quarters, a lot of negativity. But despite that negativity at those product milestones, those same naysayers are probably likely to have a club in the bag that is a result of that innovation at the time. It's 44 years since Gary Adams brought us that first metal driver back in 1979. And in 2023, TaylorMade are about to release a product which has got the same kind of innovation and probably going to be met with the same kind of negativity. That product is in fact a putter. It's the very first putter that we've seen with movable weight technology in the very same way that we've been accustomed to in many other clubs in the bag, but never before in a putter. Welcome to the Spider GT Max when some significant movable weight that sits in the bottom of this club face, which I'll go into detail about very, very shortly. Each of those two weights are 40 gram, which is a fairly significant amount and can be moved in numerous positions to help with the CG location, forgiveness, torque, stability, all the things that we're looking for in terms of uh, our performance benefits perhaps with a putter in hand and to learn a little bit more about that I'd like you to watch this quick video from TaylorMade. Okay, the first thing I want to report back is we've started off with a mix of putts from both long and short range. And the putter itself, first of all, if you're familiar with the Spider GT range, then I think they're really stable, forgiving putters as it stands anyway. I love the stability that this mallet line offers. I also like the face insert that we've seen for quite some time in these tailor-made putters as well. So great distance control great sort of responsiveness back into the hands all the kind of things i like and the simple alignment aid is really good particularly at close quarters when like i said for me in those situations what you're really looking to do is uh, pretty much in most instances i like to go as straight as possible with a little bit of pace and for that you need confidence in the stability of that club head and the alignment aid so as a putter in itself irrelevant of the adjustability it performs incredibly well i think first of all let's not forget you've got yourself a real good putter in your hands today's video is brought to you in partnership with hot golf the online golf megastore bringing you the hottest deals in golf 
and of course the clubs featured in today's video. Find the link to the Hot Golf website in the description below and check out some incredible giveaways and offers. The simplest way I can sort of relate to that uh, changeable weight is the very much the same way as we would expect to see in a driver. If you fade the ball, then you would change your weight to adjust to counteract that. And the same as if you would, uh, well, I was gonna say hook, draw the ball will go with, well, you would do exactly the same thing. You would counteract the balancing system that the drivers uh, offer nowadays in pretty much every driver that you will try and you will make adjustments to counteract. And it's exactly the same principle. So for me, it's kind of almost like a no brainer. Of course, this should in theory work. Why wouldn't it? If you buy into the concept with your driver, then there's every reason why you should buy into exactly the same concept with your putter. But what did I find out on the fairways at Wallasey? For me, what's really interesting is when you make the adjustments, you don't notice any difference. And I think that's very much in a positive way. What I mean by that is very much again, using the analogy of swinging your driver, when you change the weight system within your driver, generally speaking, you don't notice the difference. In other words, you continue to swing the club in exactly the same way, and the adjustments that have been made in the weighting system counteract the bad miss, if you like, and that's exactly the same principle. When I'm swinging a club, despite what I do in terms of that weighting system, for me, it feels exactly the same. So nothing changes, that's 40 gram either side of weight. I would have thought, and I expected to be able to feel a difference throughout the stroke, and you don't. But there is a very noticeable difference in terms of the performance. And this idea, what Taylor made a suggestion, that you try sort of 10, 15 puts um, and look and monitor what your miss is and then make the adjustments to counteract that, I think is a very clever way of doing things. But for me, I almost think that if you're going to buy and invest this amount of money, just the same as you invest that similar sort of money into a driver, then you really should be getting custom fit. I think you've got to go into a system, a sub. Uh, lab putting system, Quintic, uh, where they can really analyze performance and, and very much data led rather than you making adjustments with your putter based on whether you continually miss left or right. So I'd like to see a lot of suggestion in terms of the way Taylor made a suggestion you can make those um, adjustments yourself. For me, this is a lot of money, it's a big investment, and you should find yourself a custom fit studio that looks at putters in the same way as they do with drivers. But overall, I think this video is about two things. It's one about the product, which is really interesting, as I've said, first and foremost, a really good putter, a relevance of the adjustability, but it's just the concept. It's the fact that for all the criticism that Taylor made face every year about marketing claims and how they move goalposts, when I did a little bit of research back in that 1979-2004 carbon wood in 2022 and now this, they take the stick but they've made moves in the market that like I said we've become accustomed to seeing now as what is everyday and expected in our golf club so maybe less skepticism about what you're seeing today and maybe this in a few years time will become very much the norm so i applaud taylor made for what they've done and attempted here in this putter anyway hope you enjoyed that one a little bit different it was great to be back out on the fairways at wallacey golf club we came here for one reason and that's to make use of these uh, absolutely immaculate putting services uh, no excuse whatsoever when you miss on these things so thank you for them for having us and uh, that's me done and i'll see you all tomorrow night